What's up guys, my name is Ace, and since Cold War just launched, a bunch of you guys are grinding to hit that first prestige and unlock all of your guns and your perks and everything, and therefore it's the perfect time for me to share how to rank up faster in Cold War. This video is designed for those people that really want to optimize their leveling so they get to prestige one as fast as possible. Or even down the road, if you're just trying to grind through prestiges, this should all still apply. And first up, let's kick it off with the challenges. In Black Ops Cold War, right now at launch, we have a bunch of standard challenges that we would normally see in Call of Duty. So you can tab over to the challenge menu, and the nice thing here is you can also open up this menu here, which shows you the challenges that you're nearest to completion with. And that is an excellent reference for you if you are trying to rank up as fast as possible. Every once in a while, just check out that nearest to completion list. And if you see there's a few challenges that you could easily knock off within a game, then definitely shift your focus to those and you'll be getting a bunch of XP. It really adds up quickly once you start completing multiple challenges, especially if you're working on multiple different challenges in a single game. Now on top of this, there are a bunch of other challenges that are kind of hidden. They're not really within that challenge menu. And one challenge set here is with each individual gun, when you go into the gunsmith and you have your attachments tab, if you tab over to weapon mastery, you can see there's another set of challenges that are going to be specific to the gun or specific to the weapon class that that gun is part of. And with this, you can see how you'd be earning XP for completing all of these various things by simply getting kills with that gun or ranking it up. Every time you rank up a gun, you're going to be getting XP for each rank, but then you're also going to be getting XP when you finish a certain number of ranks with a gun. So once you reach a max rank, you're going to get another XP boost. Basically, anything you unlock in this game, anything you work toward, if you unlock it, you're going to get some XP for it. And this is what leads me into the next big tip here, and this is variety. Variety is very important if you're trying to optimize your leveling path, because if you just stick to the same guns and the same perks, same equipment and everything, you're going to end up completing all of the challenges for everything you're using, and then as you keep playing with those items, you're not progressing anymore. You're not earning any extra XP by completing challenges and leveling those things up. So one thing that I highly encourage, not even just for leveling up, but also just for understanding the game and finding what works best for you, finding your playstyle and finding your gun and your setup, mix things up as much as possible, try not to use the same thing game after game after game, and you'll notice that you'll end up leveling up faster if you're doing this. Now there is one exception to this. I would say if you're trying to maximize leveling, it's not necessarily in your best interest to use items that are going to make you perform significantly worse in game. Even if you're going to be completing some challenges for that gun that you really hate and you do horrible with, all of those challenges and XP that you're going to be earning from using that gun are probably not going to make up for the lack of performance that you're getting in game because the more kills that you get, the more score that you get, the more objectives that you capture, the more XP you're going to end up with at the end of the game. And if you just simply can't compete with the enemies, then you're not maximizing your XP at that point. So use variety, but use it wisely. Make sure you can still perform at least decently well. Now diving a little deeper into that, if you are using a variety of guns, another thing to pay attention to are your camo challenges. Camo challenges are going to give you XP. Every time you complete a camo challenge, you get XP. And then when you complete all of the camo challenges within a particular area, you get even more XP. So that adds up pretty quickly. And same thing goes just as you're leveling a gun up. Every time you get a new attachment unlocked, you're going to get a few hundred XP. And this kind of stuff adds up really, really quickly. Now, as for the next thing, and this is a major one with Cold War, don't leave games. Make sure you stick it out right till the end of the game. Even if you join a game late, I've noticed you get a pretty big match bonus by the end of the game, or at least like surprisingly big for the amount of effort that you had to put in. Like I've had situations where I got several thousand XP and I only got a couple kills that game because I joined it so late. But since I just stuck with it till the end of the game, I just got a bunch of free XP. So stick with it. Don't be a rage quitter and you will maximize your XP if you're doing that. Next up, perhaps one of the best tips that I have for you guys today that you might not know about is every time you get one of those medals that pop up in game, you get XP for those medals. And these medals can be earned for such a wide variety of things. A double kill, a triple kill, a one shot, one kill medal. Heck, even a comeback medal. If you go on a death streak and then get a kill when you come out of that death streak, you're going to get bonus XP because that comeback medal pops up on your screen. So I realize when it comes to these medals, it's usually not things you're going to be actively working toward. They just sort of happen as you're playing the game. However, there is one big thing that you can actually focus on, and this is those one-shot, one-kill medals. And this is where hardcore game modes come in. 
in Cold War, as long as you're using a gun that will be a one-shot kill in Cold War, which I believe every single assault rifle is a one-shot kill in hardcore modes, up close at least, then you're going to get a one-shot kill medal for every kill that you get. And I've noticed that these really add up while playing hardcore, so as far as I can tell at least, hardcore game modes are going to be a great option as long as you can actually perform well in hardcore. This kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier with variety. If you're somebody that plays significantly better in core game modes and you just struggle playing hardcore, then it's probably not worth your while for maximizing XP. But if you're the type of person that can play just as well or even better in hardcore modes and you're just trying to rank up as fast as possible, I would definitely recommend playing hardcore and not only going for the one-shot kill medals, but try to get headshots as well, because headshot medals also pop up. You get bonus XP for every headshot kill that you get, and that will also be a one-shot kill medal, and that will also work toward your camo challenges. So at that point, you're hitting three birds with one stone, and you could even be working on other challenges on top of that. So you can really see, once you start stacking all of these things together and all these tips together, you can be earning a ton of XP every single game that you play. You just have to put in a little bit of thought and effort into what you're doing. Additionally, something I wanted to mention that's great for just easy, free XP for you is shoot down enemy UAVs and counter UAVs and any other score streaks shoot them down. It's a super easy thing to do. It only takes a couple seconds when you come out of spawn to swap to your launcher, have a look at this guy, shoot down a UAV, boom, you just got a bunch of free XP and you can just move on and continue playing normally. On top of that, not only are you getting a medal for shooting that down, you're also going to be ranking up your launchers. And once again, we have that stacking effect that's going on and XP adds up very quickly when you're doing this. But circling back to game modes a little bit, outside of the whole core versus hardcore, another thing that I'd recommend is sticking to objective-based game modes. So modes like Hardpoint or Domination, for instance, these are generally going to be much better for XP than Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch is actually one of the worst modes that you could play if you're trying to maximize XP. And the simple reason for this is every time you capture an objective, or you get a kill while you're near an objective, or you kill somebody that's on an objective, you're getting bonus XP on top of the standard XP for just getting that kill. So just in general, there's way more XP to go around when you're playing objective game modes. And also, I found that generally respawn modes in this game are a bit more effective for earning XP compared to modes like Search and Destroy or VIP Escort, where you only get one life per round. Now that's not to say that you can't get a ton of XP in those modes if you're a very good search and destroy player, but this video is designed to apply to kind of everybody and the average player out there. And I would say the average player isn't going to be performing well enough in search and destroy or VIP escort to be earning more XP than they would be earning in other modes in the same amount of time. Now so far all of this has been focused on the regular 6v6 multiplayer experience. It turns out Fireteam Dirty Bomb is also a really good mode for getting XP, again as long as you are decent at that mode and you're getting a good amount of kills and you're playing the objective very well, you can rack up a ton of XP in that and one of the bonuses of playing Fireteam Dirty Bomb is you're going to be spending more time in the actual game playing the game rather than constantly loading up a new match every 10 minutes. So in some ways you do get better XP there, you're also getting more XP per kill, However, another thing to pay attention to if you're playing Fireteam compared to a respawn 6v6 mode is you're generally not going to be getting as many kills in the same period of time. And those kills often lead to challenge completion. So if there's a challenge where you have to get X number of kills with a gun, you're going to be able to do that way better in a 6v6 mode than you'll be able to do in Fireteam Dirty Bomb. But finally, there is one last thing I wanted to mention here, and this is an area that I am not an expert in, and I am not really going to be covering much on this channel, but this is Zombies. It turns out our level is the same for Zombies as well as multiplayer, so anything you do in Zombies, earning XP and stuff, that all goes toward the same level that you're earning in multiplayer. On top of this, in Zombies, they have an entirely different set of challenges, which also award XP. So if you're somebody that enjoys both zombies and multiplayer, then by all means, you should be branching out and playing both modes because this is where that variety comes back. You're going to be opening yourself up to way more challenges to be completing and therefore a lot more XP. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as my tips. Of course, there's also double XP, which I didn't mention, but that's pretty obvious. Wait for those double XP weekends and grind them hard. Or if you get double XP from any other source, then that's great as well. But those are the tips that I have for you guys to help you level up faster in Cold War. Now, I'm interested in hearing from you guys in the comment section below. Outside of everything I've mentioned today, is there any other little tips or techniques that you've found to help level up faster while playing Cold War? 
Just share those tips in the comment section down below so people can scroll down and maybe find a few extra tips on top of this video. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.